What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 6 of The Last of Us. So, last episode was pretty sad. Well, you know, I'm gonna take that back. It was it was a good episode until the ending. Like, Joel and Ellie met Henry and Sam, and you know, they were kind of like off at first because you know they were just meeting, but throughout the episode, they became closer. Like, Ellie and, I think the little boy's name was Sam. Ellie and Sam, were getting along fine like it was great and then the ending happened and I thought I w it just made me so mad because I thought they were gonna go off together and they were gonna do shit and like help each other and then now they're both dead which was as to like be expected by the end of the episode since that's what happens to every fucking character we meet right it pissed me off but now I'm just ready to see who else we're gonna meet who else is gonna die I don't know what to expect this episode, but I guess let's just get into it. So we're getting a whole nother time jump. Okay. That ain't Joel and Ellie. I thought it was about to be them two in that cabin. And the gun. Who the hell are you? Just someone passing through. Well, they're in the cabin now. Okay. Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. He didn't hurt me, by the way. Yeah, I got eyes. Damn, his freaking attitude. A bit, but I ain't seen him. He's got a girl with him. Can I come down? No. Ellie. She's coming down anyway. Joel, come on, there's like a thousand. Who's this little psycho? Never mind her. A thousand? <laughs> the fuck? Nice. You telling the truth? Yeah. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. That don't sound too convincing, but you're gonna have to do it anyway. You're gonna have to trust them. No more. So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. Not the bugs, the people. There are firefly people? <laughs> oh my fuck. We never seen who's out there, but we see the bodies they leave behind. Some infected, some not. So that's where they're gonna be going. I'm guessing. Put that back. I don't know anything. I've never heard of the fireflies. Um, what's wrong? Dead, I'm fucked. Set up fine. Okay. Just the cold air. All of a sudden. Was it like maybe a slight panic attack or was it actually like something that we just don't know about? The river of death. It's scary. Don't start. It's too close to dark. I thought they were literally going to have to, like, cross it, like, go through it, but they're just going to go around. Okay, I didn't expect that to be out. What, what time of the year is it for them? Like, I know it's, like, winter time, but I don't know if it's, like... November, December, early New Year. Mm. Can I have some? No. What, just to warm up? Come on. Yep. So gross. <laughs> what even is in it? Like, what kind of alcohol? Because some, some stuff does taste like ass. They draw my blood and put it through some of their fancy machines and make a cure. 
Okay. Then what? Like, what do we do? You can do anything you want. Where are you going? What are you doing? It's never been an option. <clears throat> A ranch. Cool. What kind? Sheep. I would raise sheep. They're quiet. I'm surprised she's not coming at him for being like kind of boring, but like. You and a bunch of sheep. Romantic. That might be her way of coming at him. The vaccine. It's a little late to start wondering. I tried with Sam. Tried what? I didn't know that they were focusing on that. Like, I thought they were just going to get his brother first and then worry about that. You want to take first watch or second? I'll do both. Get some sleep. Look at him being nice. But it's also lucky you also need sleep, Joel. See, you just turned into Ellie because she would do the same thing. I'm not tired. Next scene, she's asleep. I woke up early. You were passed out, so I took second watch. You gotta wake me up if that happens. You can't do things like this. But I can. Why not? She was just taking watch. So I found the high ground and I kept watch. Like you taught me to. What can I say, man? I'm a natural. Oh. You're teaching her. Be happy that she actually, like, learned. Death. Was that just to see if anyone would come out? Shh. Shh. I'm learning how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle? Shh. Does it sound like I know how to whistle? No. Shh. I teach her how to whistle. Because do you whistle? Probably. Because I don't know how to whistle like that. What's the dressing? The part where you take the guts out. Oh, yeah. Why do they call it dressing? It's like you should call it undressing. Because it is, it's like undressing. I was literally just thinking the same thing as he was explaining it. Hey Joel, what if this is the river of death? What do you mean? How? I guess so, because they're on the other side and now people are approaching. You. Take five steps back. How about we just talk this through? How about you shut the fuck up? Okay, easy. Well, that's what's your attitude, man, and why does she have to back up? Last chance for a bullet. If you're infected, he will smell it and he will rip you up. So they have dogs that can smell that shit. Okay. Like I said, we'll just move on. Now her. What's gonna happen with her? Please, nothing. Please, nothing. Okay, okay, so we're good. We're fine and dandy. That's all I was worried about because I thought it would have sensed it or something. But I guess nothing's like really in her system. Joel. I thought she was gonna act like about the name Tommy, but I don't know, I guess they don't know anything about him. 
But it's like, why would they automatically just assume he's looking for someone named Tommy? So... Did they just out of nowhere had a horse to spare so they can ride? Because it didn't seem like they had another horse with them. Tommy! No fucking way. So now he finds his brother? <laughs> I'm so happy he finally found him. There's more if you need it. Thank you, ma'am. It's been a while since we've had a proper meal. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a proper meal. This is fucking amazing. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. At least she was still nice about it. What? What's wrong with you? What about her manners? She was just curious. Kids around here don't usually look or talk like you. Right. What do you mean? Like, literally, she's talking normal, looking normal. Would it be nice to have a moment here, maybe just for family? Well, uh, Maria is family, actually. Oh. Okay, I didn't... I didn't sense that they had anything together. Okay. And you know, he wasn't, he didn't even seem like he was gonna kick Ellie from the table, so that's progress. Lights? This place actually fucking works. And look, there's sheep, just you like Joel. Check it. <laughs> so, are you like in charge? It's our newest one. Couple months old. You want to pet her? Yeah, what's her name? Shimmer. Shimmer. She's so beautiful. Well, I'm sure they like a shower, some new clothes. We can put. <laughs> Thanks for still giving a shit about me. It's so weird because I know he expected that he was like off in a bad place, but to see that he's actually been doing well in everything, it's like he wasn't in danger at all. Raiders, it's not exactly an easy trip. It'll be easy for us, seeing as how you can headshot infected from half a mile away, which is a bunch of bullshit, by the way. What makes you think he would go, though? I can't go. Well, come on. <laughs> They're good people. They didn't have to take me in, but they did. And all they ask is that I follow their rules. I'm your brother. Yeah, I'm aware. He just wasn't gonna look or talk to Joel ever again. And it's shitty to even think about that because he's doing fine. And it's like he, Joel has been looking for him this whole fucking time. We just weren't any good at him. If you knew the shit that I've been through, Tommy, trying to find you these last few months. I'm gonna be a father. Maria is a few months along now. No way. So that's like another reason as to why he can't go. Okay. That's kind of sad though. But it's like, is Joel and Ellie, they're not going to stay there because they still have to find like whatever they're doing. Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. He's right. He expected it to be like that for him, too. But he's still trying to get by in a fucked up world. Is he having like a panic attack thingy again? Or again, is it something else? We never found out. Is he gonna think that that's his daughter? It's 
It's so weird. Like now she has a normal ass room, like a bed, different clothes to shower. Oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh fuck. That's a nice ass house too. Shit, so they they could literally live a normal life there if they wanted to stay. Right, pile. Did you get the thing I left you? Yeah. Weirdest gift ever. But useful. Who's been cutting your hair? Uh world class salons. <laughs> She's like really helping her like set up and everything. Okay. I like her. She seems harmless. Like she's nice and everything. Cool, I guess. I always like doing hair though. Maybe it was a mom thing. You were looking at the little memorial Tommy made? Uh yeah. I should get asked about Sarah. I'm sorry about your kids. It's okay. I'm kid, just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. She didn't know about Sarah. Look, I'm not gonna ask you what you're doing with him. Good. But there are clearly things you don't know about Joel. Oh, like how he used to kill people? I know about that. What is she trying to do? Show that he's a bad person? Tommy was following Joel, the way you are now. Well, maybe I'm smarter than Tommy, no offense. Why are they putting it all on Joel? Even Tommy was like, we did what we had to do to get by. So why are you pinning it on Joel? Now come on, grab your super fucking eggplant coat. Where are we going? The movies. The movies? I'm moving into the other room. Yeah, I'm a friend of uh, Tony's. You know, Tony DeFoe. They have that? Okay, that is fucking dope. I said I might find you here. Got them some new boots. I know you're happy for me. Just It's complicated for you. I'm sorry. Is he not going to say anything? What is this? She's immune. What? Ellie. Yes, explain it. You did, but she didn't get sick. Tommy. Tommy. Don't you dare say anything, Tommy. The dog even sniffed her and shit, and it was okay. From the beginning. At least he's gonna hear him out. She hired us to sp Unless something's about to happen. I feel like something's about to happen right now. To save her while I just watched. And today I thought that dog was gonna tear her apart because it smelled something on her. Move. I couldn't think of anything to say. I just. I was so afraid. I mean, you've been through shit. You can't expect to immediately react to something. Pausing is kind of like a normal reaction, even though it might not be a good one, but sometimes you can't help it. Again and again. You want me to take her? I'm just gonna get her killed, I know it. I know it. You're gonna leave Ellie there? Not even Maria. Tommy, you're the only one I trust. If anyone else sees those bites on her, What's under her skin? They'll shoot her. That's just gonna mess up y'all's plan also. Like y'all are supposed to go somewhere. We got you on 38. It's left, left, right. I 
I thought he was just gonna like straight up leave after that moment and not even go to the house. Boys, movies, deciding which shirt goes with which skirt. It's bizarre. Don't tell me this is about to be like a goodbye scene. I came here to talk to you. No, why are you still here? If you're gonna ditch me, ditch me. So she already fucking knows. He knows the area better than I do. Do you right? give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? You gotta admit it to her. Maria told me about Sarah and... No. You have no idea what loss is. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. You can't... Yeah, you can't fucking say that to her. Now come down. We're going our separate ways. Hmm. Please, something change, because I do not want him to leave her. Like, it seemed like y'all were making such progress and everything, and then now you're leaving. He's still gonna be there. Please. Come in. And he's gone. You came here to say goodbye or something? No. I came here to steal one of these horses and go. Well, we gave you one. I don't know. Anyway. You mean steal one for her or something? You deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Okay. She didn't even hesitate. She's like, I'm going with you. Right off the interstate, should be hard to miss. Tell him congratulations. Or not? Adios, big brother. I thought you were at least going to say congratulations, I, like, since you didn't the other day, or like last night, but guess not. Is it Ellie? You're flinching. The target's too small. I made it bigger than I should have. Eject the cartridge. So he's actually teaching her. I think we're gonna get it pregnant. It isn't gonna work, it doesn't aim right. You dick. <laughs> At least they're like. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. That's like right in the middle, too. Right. It's called a turnover. Turnover. But if you make it to 10 yards, then you're back to first down? Yep. Are you teaching her football? Well, how about that? Made it in five days. Easy days. I don't know what Tommy was so afraid of. Still time to find out. Yeah, don't jinx it, Ellie. Come on. Team mascot? It's kind of sheep. We'll see. I'm step closer to your dream. Don't see any fireflies though. Anytime she sees a sheep, she's gonna tell Joel about it. Suppose I can do anything? That's the deal. Well, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why is that funny? Because it seems like a joke. 
sing something, Joel. Look it. Here we go. So they are actually there. Okay. There's a packing list. Something you make before moving. They just left. Maybe not all of them. Yeah, someone's still there. But who? So it's just monkeys. Or maybe not. I feel like someone's going to turn up anyway. All the pins lead there. Maybe getting ahead of the weather. Better facilities? I don't know. Someone's there. Why are they just showing up now? What if they find and kill the horse? Please don't kill the horse. Be careful, Ellie. Please don't shoot Joel. Please don't shoot Joel. He didn't feel getting stabbed. So someone was there and tried to kill them. So now what? He is stabbed. Where are they gonna go? He's not gonna make it five no, days no, no, or whatever no. back. Joe. I can't fucking do this without you. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Joe. You're lying. He's not dead. You're lying to me. I'm taking a ride with my best friend. Mm -mm. You're fucking lying. Cut the sad music. You are kidding me. You can't. I was getting ready to say too at the end of the episode like oh look no one died this episode you know he's not dead they started playing sad music yeah but you know what I'm gonna still have hope because he is not gonna go out like that because again what is she gonna do what's gonna happen but then again they kill someone every episode. So if he is the one that's gonna be dead, I'm gonna be pissed. They, their relationship was blooming more, you know, she picked to go with him and they were cool until he got stabbed. Like, are you kidding me? They cannot have one good episode. And it pisses me off. Like, you're really gonna do that to that man at the end of the episode? No. They were just doing good. They just got there after five days and he's done already? No. You're lying. And you know what? Just thinking about it, he's been looking for his brother this whole time, like, since episode one, two, and he finds him. And then what happens? He's there for the episode, and then now he's gone. Because I don't think we're going to see Tommy again. Like, that might have just been, like, the end of the story for him. But it's like, why? We get one episode with that man? Even though he's been, like, Joel's been looking for him the whole time? Like, that's how you're going to do it? And, you know, it's so weird thinking that this whole time Ellie didn't really know about Sarah. And then she finds out from the lady, and it's just like... 
weird now but also not because she it helps her understand more of like why joel the way he is like why he is the way he is and maybe it's a good thing but i kind of feel bad for whenever she did bring him up because you know he got really closed off again but then maybe that kind of helped like just talking about it a little bit you know but maybe it didn't they just they have so much more shit to do and to like go to and you can't tell me that that man died right there you can't that that sad music is not tricking me unless it is because if he is mm, i'm gonna be so fucking aggravated you can't kill that man this early on in the show i don't know how the video game went i don't know how if he dies is he gonna die is ellie gonna die somehow i don't know that's just making me think more into it and it's aggravating me I just I don't want him to die and I want them to keep going because it's like what was the point of them just getting out and being cool and shit and now he's gonna die like that would be stupid but you know what the creators are the creators or whatever and you know shit's probably gonna happen anyway whether I like it or not and I can't do anything about it so I'm probably just gonna have to accept it I'm not but I'm not gonna accept it until I see the next episode the beginning of the next episode so we're gonna wait for that I'm ready to see if he's still alive and shit so I guess come back for episode 7 